What's up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. In the last part we got out of the fail hideout, which is Team Rocket's stupid hideout, and finally beat that. In this part we are challenging the gym here. Which is just freaking cool because it's Ice Gym. Which is just really predictable, especially when there's not many Pokemon that are Ice types in Gen 2. So yeah, we're just gonna use Spoon. I'm just gonna lead off with Spoon because he's just epic. And yeah, I do the side beam, I get the confusion, which is just great. And he, I get the hacks, which is even more great. I finish him off with a side beam. Which is just making this gym look easy. Yeah, but now he has a level 25 Dugong. And this season, this isn't even the gym, so, I mean the leader. So, hopefully this guy isn't, leader isn't too strong. I know he'll have himself a Pylos line. And probably, uh, I believe a seal on a Dugong. I get a crit. And 942, I almost get the level up. I'm gonna fight each gym trainer here because they have epic experience. And I need all the experience I can get because we're almost at Claire. Which has three freaking Dragon Airs and a Kingdra, which is probably the most annoying, strongest Dragon Pokemon there is. Because there's only one weakness, which is other dragons. Oh uh, yeah, she probably just has one buffed up Pokemon, right? Yep, 28, like I thought. Just one buffed up Pokemon. Hopefully we get a 3 hit KO, I believe. And you use Growl. And that lowers my attack, but I'm a special attacking beast, so that's just stupid. Yeah, that was really good of you, I guess. You go for a headbutt, and I don't even understand that because you get a crit, but you're just so lucky. Yes, I just killed you like that because you're just so easy. I really don't even have to do anything. The only time I have to heal is when these stupid people get crits. So yeah, we want to fight these gym trainers. Another border guy. He has a swine up. I should just switch. And just wall him with the bird button, yeah. Let's just go with the side beam. And then, yeah, I get that easy one hit KO. Get the easy one hit KO again. So, yeah, Spoon's just sweeping because he's a beast that holds a spoon. And it's slightly bent just to show you how powerful he is. I believe the last trainer is to the top left, hopefully. Hopefully, there's no more because I am getting tired of fighting him even though I'm sweeping like crazy. So yeah, here we're just going to switch. I'm going to go into Blaze again. 
go ahead and end this crap. Take your ice move. Just wall it like a pro. And go for the ember. And you go for a lovely kiss. Puts me to sleep, which is just stupid. Now he goes for the double slap. Oh yeah, this does way more than two hits. He hits a crit. And I hit four times, and I'm still asleep. Which is just so stupid. That's for a double slap, and it misses, and I'm still asleep. Which is so retarded. And that's for a double slap. It's a crit. Keeps double slapping to the face. And he gets to five times, and I'm still asleep. So yeah, this is just not turning out the way I wanted it to. His double slap misses, and I'm still asleep. So this is just stupid. So it just seems like I'm never going to wake up. I finally wake up and get an ember off. Doesn't even do anything. It gets a burn though. And I'm going to switch because I don't want him to die. I'm going to go on Rayquaza. So yeah, this Jinx is a fucking pain. Because of that kiss attack. Oh yes, can you not get the maximum crap? And then we're just gonna bite. Kill that thing off. And it still lives. And it goes for a lovely kiss and it fucking misses. Thank you, Jesus. So that was actually the most challenging thing I've had in this game, probably yet. That was just so wrong. I mean... Come on, how can just one little jinx do all that with that moveset? And just wall like all of my attacks. It's just like not possible. So yes, now we want to make sure we fight this guy. I know, price is secret. Oh yeah, so you guys honestly don't think I know the way around this gym. I've played these kind of games, Gen 2, like five times already. I know the way around this gym better than you guys do. It's so freaking easy to actually tell. Get an easy one hit KO, and I get another close level up. Oh yeah, she sends a cloister. Which is just a defensive god. So I'm glad I don't have any defense Pokemon. Because he would wall me like crazy. I get a one hit KO because his special D pretty much sucks. I get a level up to 34 because I'm just that beastie. And yeah, he sends in another shelter. I don't get what's up with these people. They send in the pre evolved form, then the evolved form, then another pre evolved form. I do not understand that. They always do that. But oh well. But again, this isn't my game, I didn't make it, so I can't say anything, so... <laughs> Border Douglas with the fear. I'll tell you, price the secret. Oh god, guy, you fail so much. Yes, we want to go ahead and start back. And I made the wrong move, so yeah. It's actually easy to get this guy, so yes, Pokemon have many experiences in our lives like we do. I have seen much suffering much in my life since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I price the winner chainer shall demonstrate my power. Ah uh, yes, because he's all sad because his pile of swine ran off, I believe, and fell in a hole and got frozen, and apparently he's still a grouch because... He found it, unlike the show where he found it and he was all nice. Now he found it, he's still mad. 
I guess he's mad because Gen 4 hasn't came out yet and it hasn't evolved in a Mammal Swine. So yeah, that's probably why he's mad. I'd probably be mad too if I can get him attacking the piece like Mammal Swine. So yeah, they do the Icy Wind and my speed falls, but I still outspeed and just kill off that seal. Which now I know I'm definitely going to beat this gym. No matter what Pokemon he has. He sends in a Dugong. Which is just level 29, just a beast. And I should still be able to get a 3 hit KO on this thing. Goes for a stab or a beam. Which seems like Hyper Beam, and it doesn't even do anything. And the game freezes, which is always a beast. And yes, it's freezing big time, and it comes back to life. So yeah. Make sure if you know why the hell that happened, be sure to leave a comment, because that's always annoying. As I've said before. Goes for another not Hyper Beam. Because that does seem like Hyper Beam to me. Oh yes, we're going to switch. Even though Spoon's about to go off, we are going to switch into Blaziken. Because he has a pile of swine. Just as long as the pile of swine doesn't have Earthquake. Which it probably does. So it doesn't matter. But no, it has an Icy Wind. Which, I'm a, I will wall like a beast. And the game freezes up yet again. So yes, game freezing is always it. He keeps going for fury attack and hit three times. Oh yes, I do Ember yet again. I get a crit, which just kills off the power swan. Which is just epic because we defeated Price, the like mad gym leader. Later, Price was defeated. I'm impressed by your powers. You are strong. Well, I know. We'll overcome all of us. You are worthy of this badge. Aha! We received the Glacier Badge, which is finally the first badge that actually makes sense about what type they are. It gives us a thing, which is probably Aurora Beam or Icy Wind. And it's Icy Wind. Lower speed, yes. This is just freaking great. Oh yes. It's a douchebag. Isn't even collecting badges. And as soon as you come out of here, you get a call from Professor Elm. A call for something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. So yeah, we're gonna heal up in the Pokemon Center. And this part is about to end as well. So yeah, you get a call from Professor Elm. And he says about the radio tower. And since I fail, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to Goldenrod. So I'll start the next part off in Goldenrod. Be sure you guys rate, comment, sub, and see ya.